Hello, fabulous Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2016, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here this month in the context of love. There is nothing like having Mars moving through your opposite sign, slowing down to a crawl, and then before the month is over, mid-month will start to move backwards in your opposite sign. This is where that attention and that focus on one significant other starts to manifest as the universe tries to get you to learn about yourself more deeply and understand who you are that much more deeply. The decisions that you make in love and why, thanks to this particular phenomenon. Mars will begin an extended cycle, already has begun this extended cycle, but now it gets real. Now it becomes contemplative. Now it becomes about you. It's no longer just going to be about this person in your life, but it's going to be more about what role am I playing in where I am right now in love and where I am right now in terms of my most important alliances, particularly those love alliances. For some of you out there, especially if you are in an established bond, I think that this particular um, this particular phenomenon taking place is going to speak to you that much more strongly and it really does become about looking at and also forgiving or deciding what has been how you're going to interpret it and how it is that you now desire to move forward based on anything that might have been left unaddressed for way too long mars having this extended video visit in your opposite sign um, does speak to you getting deeply honest with yourself and just needing to spend time, needing to give energy, needing to give your focus to a significant other. This retrograde will allow you to understand yourself more deeply and understand why. So that's one of the more personal ways that this energy can play out. But I also think that if you are in an established bond, just on another level, this could be a time when your partner just needs more of your time, more of your energy, more of your presence. You've got to just be there for this person. Those of you who are just getting to know somebody, this particular energy um, is going to be the part that has to do with reflection. The part has to do about you is going to be especially highlighted with this. So it is going to become about getting a different perspective, getting a different look at this person. And from there, having that appreciation or that deepening appreciation that ultimately this person, whoever it may be that's attracted into your life, what it is that it says about you. You're getting another look at yourself and at this new person in light of this shift of Mars. Because it does ultimately become about with this energy, it becomes about reflecting, being honest, getting another look, getting a deeper perspective. Why have you wanted this? What was it that was that initial spark and what does that say about you, that this is what you were drawn to as part of that initial spark? These are all really important understandings and lessons to take place now as you'll be reconsidering what you want and why you want it, particularly in matters of heart. And those of you who are open to meeting someone new, when I see Mars retrograde in uh, your opposite sign, to me this is very much about um, somebody coming in who reflects where you have been. So it's like someone reminding you of someone else, someone who speaks to your own learning of where you were in the past, someone who embodies who you believe yourself to be, particularly in years ago. So in some way they're reflecting either someone else from your past or they are reflecting who you believe you were. And in that way, helping you to understand from another perspective where it is that you've been, where it is that you have journeyed. The attractions right about now likely will be strong. <laughs> the desire to be with somebody will likely be strong as well. But also with Mars retrograde in your opposite sign, the attractions will be downright karmic. And it will feel like there's some deep learning taking place just based on who it is that you find yourself drawn to. What I love about this month for you is the energy, the sheer energy. There are a lot of people out there, myself included, who really like Mars retrograde seasons because it is Mars retrograde that allows us to really understand why we are doing what we're doing 
so that we can make decisions that much more wisely. And when we get those insights where it comes to dealing with other people, especially in matters of heart, when we get those understandings about what it is that we really want, we can align our actions to make sure that we move towards and that you move towards the love that you truly desire.